the general growth that we've seen in, in private equity and venture capital, this new class of investors helping firms at every level of their existence, this has become one of the most exciting areas in finance and economics in general, I think. It's actually the first masters in private equity in the world. It was all made possible by a generous grant from one of our alums, Arif Nakwi. The LSE is without doubt the leading liberal arts university in the world. Without question, the world regards it as one of those universities that is a great center of learning. The LSE ties together both finance and economics and social sciences. So I think this is very important when uh, we study private equity where we really want to find out is this a type of investment activity that actually helps the economy and helps the world become a better place or is it just some destructive shifting of assets. Being a university that I went to when I was at college, it was very, very important to give something back to that university. We're looking for very diverse backgrounds, both geographically and in terms of what they've studied before. When we say diverse, I mean United College of Benetton. We're from everywhere. I've met people I think, I, I hope, I'll stay friends with for life. Students that thrive in this program have to be very smart and articulate, proactive and outgoing. A lot of people are approaching the problems, the same problems, with many, many different perspectives, some that I wouldn't necessarily have come up with. Given the fact that it is a master's, it is a very unique program in the sense that we have a balance between academia and practitioner seminars. The faculty are intense but very approachable. They're literally the best in their fields. They walk you through it, they help you understand it, and you do really see that they're, they're engaged and they want you to be excited about what you're learning. They know their stuff. They're concise, they're articulate. They know what they're doing, they've done their research, they're doing their research on the field they're teaching us and they're quite passionate about it. Students have to be obviously interested in active investing, which could be venture capital and it could be leveraged buyouts where we think of investing in the biggest firms in the world and thinking of ways of improving them. Obviously they have to be academically excellent. The students get the same strong financing foundations that, that the Masters in Finance students get. But also, I think we give the students skills to present their ideas and argue for their ideas with other, with other people. The core course in private equity, which is really the flagship of the, of the program, consists of parts. One is completely case-based with a little bit of lecturing interspersed. Students have to prepare these cases, uh, come to class, and then we discuss them together. We do that partly because we need to teach the students how to translate the more abstract knowledge they get in other courses uh, to real life situations. The second leg is the practitioner seminar series. We invite leading practitioners from the private equity industry and they describe um, their perspective to the students and the students discuss with the practitioners. You get to hear from the people what actually goes on behind the scenes. You're getting, you know, relevant information from the people who are, who are making the news effectively. It's a really great experience. The third leg is that the students uh, have to go out and write a dissertation. This is a way for them to get exposed to some particular part of private equity that they are interested in and several of the students that have been doing this have actually gotten job opportunities from doing this uh, dissertation. The aim of the course is to provide a solid foundation for students uh, on the topics of corporate finance, trying to understand uh, the answers to the three important questions that financial managers face. Where do I get the money? What do I do with the money? And then finally, how do I return capital to investors? I teach them how to take aspects of a problem 
uh, whether or not to purchase this factory, whether or not to expand this uh, portion of the firm, whether or not to enter a new market. And they actually build spreadsheets. They come up with numerical answers to, to try to uh, determine uh, what's the right approach. We try to attack problems that real companies faced are quite important because they really help us bridge between the textbook and the real world. This course seeks to familiarize the students with the basic workings of asset markets and the fundamental tools for asset valuation. We cover three basic asset classes, bonds, stocks and derivatives, and um, the basic tools that are needed to um, value these assets. 20% of the course is case-based, so we invite the practitioner to talk about effectively the same concepts but from, from a more hands-on perspective. It is obviously a very relevant course for a future career because it uh, provides a conceptual framework for uh, any type of asset valuation that the students are going to, to, to do in their future career. When you get to the second half of the program, you have a range of electives to choose from, and these are more advanced and more specialized uh, courses, and you can either go for courses such as case-based courses in corporate finance, or applied valuation, to other applied topics such as portfolio management, risk management, and also financial engineering and fixed income. The thing I'm really going to take away from the program is, are my classmates. We are all come from different backgrounds, different countries, but like when you come together, we just like we just blend in so well. Like we we have so much in common to talk about, to share. It's a very very good mesh of people from different backgrounds, so everybody seems to contribute in different ways, and it's it's been very rewarding. I hope to stay in touch with them, you know, throughout my career, and I think that's going to be very valuable in the future. The students of this program uh, will, uh, will be in principal positions in private equity firms. We're very excited about it going forward. I think the quality of an LSC education is without doubt. Being thrown into this melting pot of cultures, ideas, concepts, it's something that stayed with me for the whole of my life. I think it's enabled me to debate with myself on the merits or demerits of various ways of looking at things.